Uh, you're in Nedlam's workshop. Uh, this was the old wood shop of Malden High School, um, where lots of interesting stuff has happened over quite a storied history. Um, and in recent years, it's been somewhat underutilized. And the principal, Dana Brown, um, came to us about a year ago and said, I have this wood shop that is somewhat underutilized. Um, would you be interested in trying to turn it into a makerspace that blends sort of older craft technologies with newer digital technologies in service of kids asking questions about the world and then solving them by making things? So what we did is with the help of the students, we organized it. We figured out which machines worked and which didn't. We painted the walls and we put, as you'll see, them on the walls. Uh, they painted themselves up there. Um, we organized it for more fluid work. We got the rusty nails off the ground. We added um, mugs and hot water and coffee so the kids can feed themselves. And really just making this more of the kind of space where young people would want to be. Our first challenge, um, it's really our second challenge here, is more constrained. Um, this is based on a need that students identified that they want to they want to be able to protect their phones and charge them in the back of class, but they're afraid of theft, they're afraid of the phones breaking. So their challenge um, for this project and today is to design something that um, keeps their phones safely charged in the back of classrooms. So your goal today is going to be using the EV3s to create something where the motors are used to secure your device. When I was a kid, I loved Lego. So I got really into like building things. The well, idea is gonna be first, we're gonna build like a container to like hold it. So like maybe like the motor will make it open and close, kind of keep it in there. So the number one sort of goal, or uh, the research question is, how can we use digital maker practices, inquiry, engineering inquiry and digital technologies to empower youth to feel as though they can solve problems in the world? So our success will be measured by the ways that these students feel as though they can get it done. They can ask questions and they can solve them on their own. Our hope is that inquiry as the central driving force of this project and Nedlam's workshop is something that teachers can come to see as really powerful in all of their classrooms, right? Getting kids to answer authentic problems about their world is a good place to begin science, math, history, engineering, you name it. I think it's, it's applicable across a lot of the disciplines.